Hi, my name's Rachel and I'd like to share a thought with you reflecting these weird weeks. I'm blown away by the way we have all so quickly adapted to this strange new world we've been flung into, like some Groundhog Day. We've all had to adjust to new ways of working from home, homeschooling, living in close proximity to our family all day and every day. The children have had to adjust at being home, away from their friends and teachers, as well as trying to keep up a modicum of education to while away the hours. For me, this has all been a vertical learning curve, juggling this new life. Our family are on at least a 12 week lockdown. My job has changed dramatically in focusing more on communication. However, I myself am bombarded by so much information, it is hard to stay on top. Should I be doing this? Should I be teaching them that? What is the best thing for this situation? And so on. It's a massive worry. I know that if I look into the enormity of the world situation, it's too much for me and it scares me. If I look to what's happening lo locally, it worries me. Reliant on friends to shop for us, delivery drivers, milkmen, posties, worrying them that by them being in the outside, they could be affected by the virus. If I look even to the 12 week stretch yawning before me, that too can be overwhelming. So what am I doing? Matthew 6 verse 34 says, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This is one verse that I look to just now. Along with that whole section on worry, verses 25 onward. And in verse 27, how can any one of you, by worrying, add one single hour to your life? That is not to say that you should not care for anything else but yourself. Jesus call, still calls us to love one another and to be stewards of this planet that we live on. God has a plan for everything. Just see the way that nature is rejoicing in this springtime break from humans. Foxes have been seen near buildings in town, and a kangaroo was seen in the middle of Adelaide. God has plans for us too. Sometimes we just need to look a little harder. Sue mentioned those sea la moments the other day, the moments when we can stop and breathe. With a still busy household, this can be a challenge, but, what is, but there is more space in each day in which to pause a while. I have been taking stock of what what I try and use to live lighter, to follow the lead of the Live Lent series. Teaching the kids the forgotten arts of washing up and sweeping the floor and cleaning the bathroom. Embracing technology to stay in touch through Zoom and FaceTime have been a blessing for all of us as we are not able to leave our house. We're adapting to this and I'm trying not to worry about the bigger picture. God has the bigger picture under control. His plan is not to harm us, but to prosper us, and to rest in him if our burdens are great. Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own.